In this section, we'll learn how to save workbooks that we've created with the Windows Vista operating system. Viewers, if you are using Windows XP, go to the section titled Saving Files in Windows XP. It's a good idea to save new workbooks soon after we start working on them. If we don't and our computer crashes, or we have a power outage, there's a good chance that we'll lose all our work. Saving the file ensures it will be stored on our computer, ready to go whenever we need it. If we save this workbook right now, it would be titled Book 1. That doesn't tell us much, so let's save it with a proper name. Click the Office button which contains all the commands once listed under the file menu in previous versions. Select Save As and mouse over the right arrow to expand our options. The Save a Copy of the Document Options list appears. The Save As function is designed to help us store our file in the correct place and correct file format. We can select a different format for our file, such as a previous version of Excel. This is important if we are sharing our spreadsheet with others who do not have Excel 2007. Click Excel Workbook. In this dialog box, we can specify the name for the file in our File Name field and select other file formats in the Save As Type field. For now, click Cancel to close the dialog box and let's open the dialog box a different way. Click the Microsoft Office button again and click the Save icon from the pull down menu. Normally, this action would simply save the file. However, since we have not saved the file yet, the Save As dialog box comes up again. Suzanne, let's check out some of our options available when saving files. Before saving, always look at the Save As Type box directly below the File Name box. Click the drop down arrow. For the most part, we'll always be saving our files in standard Excel XML workbooks, which is our default. Click outside the box to close it. Click to the right of the Authors field to open the Add and Author option. This field will identify us as the author of this document. This is especially important if we plan to collaborate or share our documents with others. Whatever name you used when installing Excel should show up here along with the ability to add more authors. Press the Tab key. We can add a tag to our document to help in identifying this document. Enter Video Professor Lesson. Check the box next to Save Thumbnails. This option will save a picture of the first page of our document when we search for this spreadsheet. Suzanne, click Browse Folders. The full Save As dialog box opens. The icons on the left side of the dialog box give us one click access to the files and folders within the desktop, documents, and other shortcuts. Viewers, your computer will have a different assortment of storage areas or folders listed, but one of the choices will be Computer. Go ahead and click it. Before saving our file, let's explore a few more of this dialog box's features. Click the drop down arrow of the Views icon. Here we can change the way files and folders are displayed. The slide bar is pointing to Tiles. This is the default on Suzanne's computer. Click Details. The contents of the files remain the same, but now the Files and Folders area displays more information, such as type and size. Click the arrow next to the Views icon again. Let's change the display one more time. Select Small Icons. In the upper left corner of the screen is the previous icon. It's a blue circle with an arrow pointing left. Click it to bring us back to the most recently viewed list. If you are not at the Documents folder, select Documents on the left side. We want to create a folder for our spreadsheet, so click the New Folder icon. Type Video Professor Lessons as the folder name in the New Folder dialog box. Press Enter. The Video Professor Lessons folder now appears in the Save In box. Click in the File Name box to highlight Book 1. Type Turning Pages Bookstore as the file name. Click Save or press the Enter key. Now that we've named and saved our file, 
I want to show you how to keep saving it as we work. There are several ways to save our document. One is automatic, while the other requires a small effort on our part. Go to the Office button, and at the bottom of the menu, select the Excel Options button. This opens the Excel Options dialog box. From the list on the left-hand side, click the Save label. This is where we choose our save options for the Excel program. Excel will automatically save our workbook at preset intervals. Under the Save Workbooks header, look at the line titled Save Auto Recover Information. Suzanne's window is already set to 10 minutes. Excel automatically saves a backup copy of open workbooks at the time interval specified in this window. If our system crashes or we lose power, the most we can lose is less than 10 minutes worth of work. Let's reset the time. First, check the box next to Save Auto Recover Information. Using the arrows next to the box, change the time to 5 minutes. Click OK. Now Excel will automatically save our document every five minutes. Should our application crash, Excel will allow us to reincorporate the most recent backup copy of the file. This won't automatically save our current workbook, just a backup copy. We need to develop the habit of saving the file manually. No matter what type of program we are using, the Save command is a very powerful and beneficial tool. If we don't develop this habit, sooner or later, we will have to pay the price for not saving. We could click the Save option from the Microsoft Office button again, but let's try the keyboard shortcut. Suzanne, press the Control and S keys. If our computer does have a problem and shuts down before we can save and close our document, Excel will incorporate the most recent changes stored by the auto recover we set up earlier. When we bring our computer back up after a crash, a window will appear asking us if we want to revert to the recovered document. By selecting Yes, we're taken right to our document. We're only offered one chance to recover it. If we select No and return to our document later, our most recent changes will not be included. Also, if our document became corrupted or otherwise affected when the computer went down, the Auto Repair feature will often fix problems that occurred as a result of the computer crash. As long as the Save Auto Recover option is on, Excel will take care of the rest of the recovery process for us. Even so, don't forget to save your document frequently. Remember, we can use the Ctrl and S keyboard shortcut, the Save icon on the Quick Access Toolbar, or select Save from the Microsoft Office button menu. Before we enter numbers and the formulas to calculate those numbers, let's learn some formatting techniques to improve the look of our spreadsheet.